this. Do you mind getting your tail out of my shot, please? Hey, I'm trying to film. Can you, oh, hi. It's so nice to see you this morning. What are we gonna talk about? Oh, you're just, okay. Can you like go sit in the window? Mm. Well, it is what it is. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Plan As You Go month for Tuesday, March 12th, the 12th day of Plan As You Go, where I take you through all of the planners that I use every day, step by step, and we try to just live our best life with or without cats. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. And I'm just gonna open up my passion planner and my get to work book, as well as my content planner so I can make sure I post all the content to social media. I don't know what to do with this ruler. Blech. So I wasn't the best yesterday at posting to social media. It took me forever to edit all the pictures for the new release, which was those weekend, those Flourish weekend banners. And since I did them in the single color option, the multicolor option and the glitter, it was just, it was a lot of photo editing. So that was the only thing I ended up posting to social media and I didn't end up posting it until like six o'clock. And that's not prime Instagram time, but that's okay. It is what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and fill out my morning stuff and my to-do list for the day. What did I have for lunch? I had like some chicken mushroom pasta thing. Okay, I have a little basis for my to-do list for today. I did um, do the new release from yesterday. I didn't have to order any supplies, so that was nice because I ordered them late last week, so that happened. And I did order my academic passion planners, so I can even check that off over here, which is exciting. I think I am just gonna go for black and black pro Monday start, even though I'll probably still use these stickers just because they make me happy. And I think I'm just gonna go ahead and like decorate the cover with some sort of vinyl sticker to make it really pretty. That's my plan. Because I was also thinking of just like printing out the PDF and putting it in a binder, but there's just something really satisfying about the planner chunk that I just love. It's just so chunky. And I just like seeing it get all chunky and I like having all the extra little floofy things in the back. I don't know. So that's what I decided. That's what I'm doing so far. We'll see if that changes. And I also ordered one for Ian. He's gonna go classic size. And we have an ongoing bet that if I buy him a planner, he has to use it. And so far he's failed like three planners in a row. But every year he just sucks me back in and he's like, I'll use it, I promise. So, internet, fam, world, hold Ian accountable. I can't, I can't do it by myself, I need your help. He needs to use his passion planner. But I do think that having a classic will help just because you can fit like eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper in the back and I think that size will be best for him for those reasons. So he better use it. I'm gonna go ahead and fill out my social media. And then I also really liked um, in the power sheets, there's this good quote, comparison is the theft of everything. And I think that's gonna be my weekly affirmation. Okay, filled out that. I was, like I said, I was okay with posting. I just, yep, the day got ahead of me. Technology was fighting me back. The computers didn't want to be computers. And so I didn't get a lot of photo editing done. So I just got the new release. But hey, something's better at no something's better than nothing. And posting at an inopportune Instagram time, you know, and the end, the algorithm takes over, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, I forgot to write in my little quote. We can set that aside. Oh, 
you know what I need to do? My monthly good thing. We haven't done that in a minute. Where is that pen that I like? Found it. Okay. Okay, that's all our goodies for that. Monthly good things, whatever, I don't know what I'm calling it. Daily moments of joy. That's what I'm calling it. I need to keep this open though. Okay, now we can move to this guy, which I totally have a million post-it note flags on. One thing I realized is I never picked the February challenge winners, so we're working on that. And if you can read it and you see your name, congrats. I haven't posted it yet. So, <laughs> and then I also just like to leave myself little notes on, oh yeah, I need to do that, which is designing the weekend banners in other sizes. And then edit photos. What did I do yesterday off this list? And like I said, I don't really need this for meals anymore because I realized that there isn't a meal section for the weekend. And the weekend counts. I don't care what meme you read that says the weekend doesn't count, it counts. So I'm gonna continue to kind of write my meals in my passion planner. And I think I'll eventually just make a sticker that covers this for something else. But for now, it's just gonna continue to be a to-do list. I'm also kind of thinking of highlighting off what I get done. I don't know how this planner does with highlighting, but Maybe we'll test that out here in a second. Which for those that do count their macros, I totally know the life, been there, done that. The question is, do you want a square, let's flip to just like a blank week. Do you want a big square that like covers this or like fits like half of this that has like it broken down for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, like goal, total, over, under? Or do you want something that fits the daily section? Because I've done it with the daily section. The only issue is, is it takes up like a good chunk of the day. I can show you, I actually designed one. Oh, just kidding. I took that planner downstairs. But yeah, it took up a good chunk of the day, which is fine, but I know that people use their daily timelines to plan out their days. So it would be easier to make it just like a big square to cover the work to do list or a section of the space of infinite possibilities. I'll obviously have to play it out because, you know, if the text is too small that you can't read it, then it's not gonna work. <laughs> so I need to mess around with that design. As for social media for today, I was behind on yesterday's, so I need to kind of cram in some of yesterday's into today. And then I also printed out and cut some activity stickers for my plum paper planner because I want to try incorporating some stickers into it. And so tomorrow, boom, I want to film a video on testing out different kinds of pens in this planner. So I'm going to just take a little YouTube sticker and place it right there and do the pen test because I know you guys have been asking for that one and I wanna be able to get it out before like the end of plan as you go month since this takes up so much time and then doing like the live plan with me is fitting in all the filming. Sometimes it's easier said than done. So I think that's a good start to my to-do list and I even have some extra space for that, I am gonna try highlighting. Let's see. Let's see how it works. Oh, not bad at all. I do like this pen for highlighting, but you do need to give it a solid dry time before you highlight um, or it will smear. It doesn't smear too bad if you do just like go over it right after you write. But if that really bothers you, give it a minute to dry and then you can highlight over it. Does that show up? Okay. 
Boom. Yeah, so then this way I can see what I didn't accomplish and then I can move that over. And I think it'll just help me visualize what gets done in the week and what doesn't get done. So that's it for the Plum Paper Planner. Let me check on my little daily to-do list that I'm sometimes really good at. I'm gonna go ahead and check off what got posted yesterday because I didn't do a very good job. You know, planning's always easier said than done sometimes. And let's dive in, what time is it? Okay, we have some time. And I charged my battery today, so go me. Yesterday I was like, oh, whoops, I thought I charged it. And then I obviously didn't. So let's go ahead and dive into our Cultivate What Matters Power Sheets. Um, I went over a little bit yesterday what we talked about. I haven't filled out this people I'm grateful for yet, but I feel like this section in particular is a little redundant for me. So I'll go out and fill, like I'll go and fill it out, I promise, but I just don't think it's necessarily worth it because I think there was a section already where we talked about people we were grateful for. And yeah. And the people know, and I know, and so I'll fill it out later. Uh, so this is a little section on I'm saying no to, I'm saying yes to. Here's where things get fun. You know what worked and what didn't work. You learned some valuable lessons. You are starting to see the big picture more, cl more clearly. So what is not in that big picture? Name the things that are holding you back or could potentially hold you back from making what matters happen. Saying yes to. Read overall what you've written so far. What are you going to need to say yes to more often in order to live on purpose? Be bold with this list as you say yes to what matters. Get to it, friend. So I'm going to go ahead, fill out some stuff, and then we'll do a review. Okay, this is going to be a good starting point. Um, I'm saying no to holding myself back comparison, not having enough time, negative self-talk, working all the time being stuck in one place. I'm saying yes to adventures, making time for just Ian and I, trying new things, scary goals, loving myself, new hobbies, girls nights, finding my why, making new friends, and confidence in myself slash business. And this is something that I will think and ponder on for the rest of today and add things as I think of them. That's why I enjoy doing this so much in the morning because I, it just sits in my brain for the rest of the day. So that's really it. We can close up shop and get on with our Tuesday. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Oh, and I am thinking of doing another live plan with me this Sunday, which is the 17th. So if there's a preferred time that you guys would like to see that, please let me know in the comments. I will also do it. I'm not sure if I should do it on Instagram this time since I did it on Facebook last time. So if you do have a preference on where I do my live, let me know and I will take that into consideration. Otherwise, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!